Hare Krishna. I'm over here by Rockaway Beach. I hope you can hear me loud and clear over the thunderous roar of the tumultuous waves that come in and out. I'm just making this video right now as a beggar. I'm begging the people, especially those who read Prabhupada's literature or chant Hare Krishna or are otherwise attracted to the name, the fame, the glory, the pastimes of Sri Krishna. I'm just making this video to beg you to please read the Bhagavad Gita as it is from cover to cover. For all of those who are interested in subjects like the super soul or the living entities called Jiva or the mysteries of time or the mysteries of karma or the mysteries of nature both eternal and temporary if you're interested in these subjects then I'm begging you to please read Bhagavad Gita as it is sometimes in discussions with various devotees I find that they're not familiar with certain terms and concepts and I'll ask them have you read the Bhagavad Gita as it is from cover to cover and they'll say no and I'll quickly remind them that this is actually the most important book that we could read in this time look at what we got going on we got Donald Trump running for office some people like him some people don't I'm neither for nor against the dude I think that he's an indictment on American culture all the qualities that we've cultivated in this country for the last 400 years will come to a culmination in Donald Trump so if we get Donald Trump as a president there will be war matter of fact no matter who we get as a president because of the cumulative karma of our society there will be some form of war don't worry about nuclear war it starts quick and it's over quick and nuclear war is actually good for preaching because after a certain amount of demonic population is wiped off for the face of the planet earth preaching work becomes easier all we're trying to do right now at this point is just alkalize the planet because it's very acidic and this war this battle of Kurukshetra in which the Bhagavad Gita was revealed was because the rulership of the planet had become more acidic than alkaline in an acidic environment it is easy for bacteria and disease to grow but alkaline retards the growth of pathogens and things that would otherwise make the organism sick whether it be your physical human body or the planet earth at large very 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 important are the teachings taught in the Mahabharat the history of greater India Itihasa it is thus it is as it was written in the Mahabharat the largest epic ever known to the human race I'm begging you to please read Bhagavad Gita as it is we don't want the changed version I've already touched on this subject in another video pretty much you want to stay away from Prabhupada's books that were edited after he left his body in 1977 his poor disciples thought that they knew better than him and their own condemnation will be in their pen <laughs> they'll see but for those of you who are sincere and want to carry on this mission as espoused by Srila Prabhupada and the great Acharya is going back 150 trillion years to the dawn of this universe and I beg you to please push this message we have two mirdungas in this movement one mirdunga is a drum that could be heard for blocks and blocks and it makes people happy and it opens up your chakras and purifies the heart and it reminds us that we are eternal servants of the servants of the servants of Sri Krishna Radha Govinda and then there's a greater Mridanga this Mridanga is the printing press and we use this print, printing press to spread the transcendental glories of the kingdom of God and, and the holy names of Krishna and his activities by way of ink and paper so this book distribution is very important and then don't, don't let nobody think or let you think that this literature is normal literature no no it's transcendental literature you could put the book in your house and never open it and it will still have an effect on you just like when you hear the Hare Krishna mantra being chanted and you mock people and you laugh just your smile alone is Sukriti <laughs> it's a good deed just you mockingly repeating 
Hari Krishna, I heard your boy Caprice chanting that. Hari, 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 Hari. I know a devotee who chants like that. Hari, 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 Hari. Like, I don't know what he's chanting, but he thinks he's chanting Hare Krishna. He chant everybody knows who he is. He chants like this. But he's still getting some benefit. Now I don't know if he's doing it on purpose or if he really don't know how to chant, but he, that's how he chants. Anyway, whatever. Cheese the name, tease the name. Do what you want with the names, but use the names. That's the prescription for this age. It's the only thing that's gonna stop you from this radiation. This chemical bio warfare, these Georgia Guidestones, the Illuminati, Rakshasa, Zionists, it's the only things that's gonna counteract what's going on. All of those chemtrails in the air. You know what's in chemtrails? The same stuff that's used to make a TV screen. So if you put enough chemtrails in the in the air and you put the right frequencies in the air, you could tell the people what you want and they'll believe it. Cause they'll see it. They'll experience it. Well, we're trying to in introduce you to the transcendental glories of the Lord by way of reading the Bhagavad Gita. It's made for war. It's made for those who are still attached to this material world. Look, I stand on the seashore. This is Tatasta Shakti. This is Tat. You know how you say Tat or Thoth or Jihuti? Well, this is where the living entities in this universe originate from a place called Tatasta Shakti. It is the marginal potency of Krishna, meaning you can make a choice whether to be ruled or served by Krishna's supreme, glorious energy, or you can step into the influence of Maya and start taking these 8,400,000 forms of body. The choice is yours. Krishna is not going to force you to serve him. Nothing is done by force. So anything that's happening in your life is your fault and it's your glory and it's your blessing. It has nothing to do with Krishna being good or evil. We chose the lot of life that we're in and we come in and out like the waves on the seashore. The Bhagavad Gita is giving us clues on how to get out of this eternal wheel of 